hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the second episode of Magical Herb Education and I wanted to highlight the poppy. So um, yeah, the poppy. The poppy is um, something that I, I was asked by some viewers to um, highlight certain herbs and um, spices, I guess, that I grow in my garden, including vegetables. I'm also um, going to consider vegetables as well because there's certain things that I grow in my garden that I use in my practice and I thought that I would share that with you. In addition, I've um, looked up some stuff on the web and how other people apply this certain particular um, flower um, into their practice and the seeds. So um, without further ado, let's talk about the poppy. Um, the poppy, if you don't know what a poppy is, Poppy is something that I actually really love. Um, it is actually in my um, logo. There's daisies and poppies in there, and they're the beautiful big red poppies, which um, kind of look like this. Big ornamental poppies, right? Um, this one is an open pollinated flower poppy, corn poppy. I've got so many different ones. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, everybody's fighting allergies. We're getting into spring here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, the snow is all gone. It really doesn't last very long here on, um, on the island. It's a few days, maybe that's it. But, um, the, things are starting to bloom. My cat, my poor cat, Katie is having problems with allergies. We just took her to the vet yesterday. Um, and she's doing, she's doing okay, but still S sad, sad times with our things back to the poppy. Okay. So here's what California poppies kind of look like. I have this little seed pack that I kind of sprinkle around. I've got more. These are just the orange California poppies. And these are actually the little pods. And these pods look a little bit different than the pods that I have for the ornamental poppies because they're quite a large breed. So this is a little tiny pod. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Don't focus on me. There you go. Let go. Come on now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like almost like a little string vein right there. Like a little string vein. And it busts open um, long lengthways, uh, lengthwise, and then you can see the little black seeds in there. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're in there, those little black seeds. So that is like a California poppy. Um, so they're going to look like these, these little poppies. Um, you can use those in your practice. There is a different energy um, between these guys and these guys. Totally different. Um, I grow both in my garden and I do use both in my practice. I feel that this one is more of a um, love, dreamy, imaginative, happy energy. I feel that these guys are more memorial uh, for memorial offerings type things, um, magic. Um, and as I'm going to read some of the information that I found on this guy has to also has a connection with Hecate, which is interesting. And also I use these guys for, um, dream and confusion. Uh, that's a thing. Dream and confusion spells. Let me show you a couple of other pictures or, uh, seeds that I have. So I've got this one is like a beautiful like lavender with like a fuchsia center. Those are gorgeous. And you can see the actual poppy pods right there. So those are those little, that's what's left over after the flower has bloomed. It's like actually in the, in, in the center of all of this. So this right here, and again, I'm sorry, it's not focusing. That right there, that little center is actually that thing right there. So there's that. That's a beautiful lavender one. I found these and I have to find more of them. It's almost like a deep purple uh, burgundy. It's called a black swan, but it's not really black. Um, 
and that one is like fuzzy and beautiful. I want, I did not have success growing this last year and I'm gonna try again this year. And I think I need to start it from seed inside and go to town. And then here, these are referred to as the American Legion poppies um, because they are often um, for memorial purposes of those that have fallen. And that's why the veterans um, will hand out poppy like badges you'll see them around that's a something for the soldiers um and then this is kind of the same thing and they're big huge ornamental poppy these little guys they're generally about the flowers about that big you know these guys the flower is like that big they're huge i have a poppy pod here to show you so here is a poppy pod from my garden and you can see these little sections in it right there. That is holding the seeds. I don't know if you can hear them. If I rattle it, you probably can't. Can you hear it? Maybe. I'll see how that translates in video. Um, but there's a couple of things that you can use. You can use these pods not only for decoration, not only for offerings um, on altars. Um, they're, I think they're lovely. I think they're very beautiful. Um, but they hold those seeds. So I save them and then I plant them in the spring. So after they're done doing their deal. But there's also some spell work that can happen with these guys. And I will just want to talk to you a little bit about that since I have the poppy seed up and I'm afraid to put it down because there's seeds that are just coming out of it. So I want to show you some of those seeds. So when I go like this, woo seeds, that's how much is in there. There's actually a lot a lot a lot of those poppy seeds so i'm going to put that in <laughs> put that away real quick just set that down um but um there is actual spell where i think is just lovely i've done it in a different way and i can sorry and i can explain that but um what you can do is write down your intention on a little tiny piece of paper you cut a slit because these are sections bring this back up here so you guys can see it there's sections in each of these things so each one of these is like a little trough and I've seen people cut slits right through here you write down your intention you write down your intention on a little piece of paper and you slip it into the poppy pod that is something that you can do and it says write down uh, a question or an intention on a um, small piece of paper roll it up and insert it into the poppy seed pod place the pod under your pillow and your dreams will help guide you to your answer I've done this in a different way I didn't cut the poppy pod instead what I had done is written my intentions down on paper I um, generally anoint it with oil. I roll the whole thing up like so. Place the poppy pod in there like that and then tie it with a coordinating color ribbon and place the whole thing in a, a sachet or sachet um, even an envelope I've used before and place it under pillow to get answers uh, for things um, from spirit guides. So let me talk to you a little bit about correspondences. I never quite, I, it's because I don't, I don't know everything, obviously. I don't know everything, but the correspondences are very interesting to me and I don't understand how those come about, but I'd like to share that with you. The correspondences for Poppy, um, the planet um, is, uh, it's, this is another moon, another moon correlation. The zodiac um, uh, accompaniment or correspondence is cancer which is interesting because that's you know highly emotional and um people are using or witches are using cultures have used the poppy for love and also confusion and i think that's interesting that the planet it's ruled in is cancer um dealing with a lot of emotions and then the element is water again emotions 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 so i thought that was interesting the gender is feminine and then the deity correspondences this was interesting to me as well um dementor uh dementor demeter sorry demeter Dementor. I just Harry Pottered you. Uh, Demeter, Kor, Hopnos, uh, that 
uh, I can't say that, uh, Nyx, Aphrodite, Hecate, and then there's uh, Circe's is another one. Um, the powers uh, that it possesses is calm energy. You've heard about milk of the poppy. You understand that poppy also is linked to opium. Um, and in Victorian times, there are a lot of people that went to opium dens um, to kind of like zone out, get high, lay around, and get answers to questions. Um, a lot, I believe it was uh, Mark Twain, had a big um, opium addiction. And some of the other great minds and uh, authors, same thing. That's a deal. So uh, calm energy, communion with the infinite invisibility, which I find interesting as well, because I'll tell you how I use Poppy. Um, overcoming addiction. Isn't that interesting? Overcoming addiction when opium is a thing and opioids are a thing. Um, making peace with death. That's interesting. Perspective, relaxation and sleep and surrender and release. I like that. Um, how I incorporate poppy pods and seeds into dream magic. I just showed you how I use the poppy pod. Um, I like to use poppy seeds for, um, for love magic spells on request uh, for people, not for my own, but some people really, um, connect with it in a love magic way. It's not normally that I do that. Um, but I like it for confusion spells and for hot foot powder. I add this to my hot foot powder or my, um, my protection mix. Um, I read somewhere that um, malevolent spirits, uh, low energy spirits that like to mess with you, vampires, um, that's a thing, um, all don't like the poppy and it, it, it there's a hint of confusion i guess that happens um the in the reading it said that vampires generally are confused um when you scatter poppy seeds because uh they have to stop and count all of the things and i thought that was funny and then you go to sesame street and who's the vampires the count <laughs> what is this what are these correlations very funny. So yes, I do like to add um, poppy seeds to my hot foot powder um, as an element of confusion. Um, there are, you can boil, you can burn, you can add it to incenses. I have done or have made my own incenses where I have burned it outside, not inside, um, to add to kind of like a go away or keep away spell, or there are times when I'm busy doing magic and I don't need to be, um, disturbed. And so it's kind of something that, um, sort of holds my circle. So, uh, that's something that I would do. Uh, I do my protection salts and sometimes I will add a little bit of poppy seed to kind of, um, keep things at bay and hold that circle and so that way, those people that would be bothering me, not necessarily spirits, but, you know, say I don't want to be bothered by the boss on my weekend. Poppy seed. Um, I'm not meaning them any harm by any means, shape, or form. I'm just wanting a little peace and a little distance. So uh, to add it into your magic like that, it's something that you can do. And I, um, I just want to read a couple of things that I found here on the web that I thought that was really interesting. Um, let's see. Red poppies have been a symbol, history and folklore. Red poppies have been a symbol of remembrance um, of those who have died in wartime since, famous, since a famous poem described as brutal trench warfare that took place in the poppy fields of Flanders during World War one um let's see red poppies are also meant for uh, mean pleasure um and why the poppy means um a consolidate oh let's see and why the poppy means oh, we don't want to... um in victorian language of flowers there is a whole language of flowers um that can be studied um from the victorians which is extremely interesting and you also see a lot of botany pictures coming around from that time frame, and that's where this comes from. But in Victorian language of flowers, poppy symbolizes eternal sleep, oblivion, and imagination. Um, I am thinking about taking some culinary poppy seeds, which is different. So here's my 
culinary poppy seeds. This is something that I sell on my um, shop, so you can get poppy seeds this way. Um, and then you can also, from your garden center, get poppy seeds the other way and grow them yourselves. But I was thinking of actually uh, boiling it down, making myself a little bit of a tincture, and then, um, or infusing it in oil and um, creating a flying oil for that. Deep relaxation, imagination, answering to dreams, things like that is what I was thinking of using it. Let's see if there's something else. Yes, poppies um, are a flower favored by Hecate and the magical, and any magical work you do with a poppy when you invoke her name should go favorably for you. I don't have a relationship with Hecate, um, but any of you out there that might want to try it, I know that goddess um, and various deities asks each of us for different things. So that's not the one way to do it. Um, a sleep, uh, sleep with a sachet, a sachet, see, I'm French, I'm always going to go the, you know, it's not bergamot, it's a bergamot, um, with a sachet, a sachet chante under your pillow, stuffed with poppy seeds will bring relief from insomnia, of course it will, um, really, really good for, um, sleep or dream incenses, which is something that I'm going to also be providing this go around, so I'll be doing a, um, Adding to my shop a um, a dream or a sleep incense. That's something that you guys can do. Dried leaves of the flowers of the poppy can also be used just as the seeds. Um, if you don't, if you do not have the seeds, I think that finding the actual flowers um, themselves, it might be harder than actually finding the seeds. So that is poppy for you right in there. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else, they can also be helpful use in spells of fertility and ag agriculture. So yeah, that's a thing. And that's pretty much the thing. I think I got it. Oh, oh, oh. Um, red poppies has also been known as, as also long been associated with sleep and death because of the milk of the poppy, because of the opium dens and things like that. Please look that up. Um, perhaps because of the narcotic made from the poppy can easily bring about both. Um, so unmaintained, unmodified, unregulated. Um, there were people back in those times that took too much and they died. That's a thing. So be cautious. Obviously, don't go eating stuff. You don't need to eat stuff. You don't need to eat stuff. And anything from my shop is not for consumption. Nothing. So why the poppy means, let's see, what does it say? Uh, ancient Greeks and Romans presented them um, as offerings to the dead. Um, so if you're also working with an ancestor altar, um, or maybe you're trying to give an offering, you know, if you're working with a graveyard, um, graveyard contracts, graveyard dirt, or in the graveyard and communicating with dead in that form, um, poppy seeds might be a really good, or poppy flowers might be a really, really good, um, option for you as an offering. Um, I decided to use the poppy not only because I love the color red. I absolutely love the color red. As you see, red chair, red stuff. It's just stuff. I got stuff everywhere. I love the color red. Um, always jived with it. I also like daisies as well. In my symbol or my, um, I can't even find it right now. Hello. Oh, there you go. In my logo, I have used the poppy. You, know, you guys can see it right there. You see it all around. I use the I, poppy and daisies because uh, the daisy for me is a symbolization of happiness. And then the poppy also remembrance. I've gone through some very, very difficult times and I've sort of fought my way through it, similar to war. And also because I believe that there's just a... a um, sensual beauty to the poppy as well as you know there's an imagination um it's such a stately flower it's so big and gorgeous and you know bigger than life and that's why i like the poppy so that's that um next up i think i will be doing another video uh on the magical herb education as it continues we're going to cover um lemon balm next i have a lot of that in my garden and um we are going to talk about um 
purple sage. We are going to talk about obviously lavender. We're going to talk about lavender. We're going to talk about, um, we already talked about the bay leaf. Um, we might be talking about raspberries, raspberries, raspberry leaves. And I know that I had done a video a while ago, which I can redo, um, in regards to tomatoes, tomatoes and how they, um, um, are used in magic. Um, and in your practice. So without further ado, I say goodbye and I wish you many blessings and I hope that you'll join me again for Magical Herb Education. If you liked this video, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe. Also, um, hit that little bell notification so you will never miss a video from me ever again. But the thumbs up that actually helps me in regards to uh, algorithms on YouTube if you didn't know that. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm, I much appreciate and love each and every single one of you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and many, many blessings.